Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Realness meets Entertainment in Color. I'm your host, Chantel Francis, with my amazing co-host, Tamika Francis. How are you today, Tamika? <laughs> I need coffee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's well, been a day. <laughs> I would like to say that this episode was good, but it was it was entertaining as as an entity. Mm -hmm. um, but it made there's some points that made me very very upset, and so I'm sure that you probably had similar feelings throughout it. Uh, what were your overall thoughts of the episode? The entire snog Mary by. Okay, I, I watched it. Yeah. So the okay. Entire part. But. So we're going to be talking about Love Island UK Season 8, Episode 44. We have Luna joining us. Hi, Luna J. Hi, CJ. So let's get you caught up with what happened with the Snog, Mary, and Pie. Okay. Billy is up first. Okay. He snogs. Guess who? Gemma. Yep. Correct. Guess who he marries? Paige. Yep. Very good. Guess who he pies? He better not have pied Danica. No, he pied Tasha. He pied Ta Well, okay. He did not do anything to Danica at all. And he's all it's like, oh, it's just banter. This is just fun banter. It's fun, fun banter. Like I thought it would be funny if I just went up to like kiss Dan Danica, like, you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be that fun. It wouldn't be that much banter. He's full just, of shit. Shut the fuck up. Um, then we have Andrew. Mm -hmm. So he snogs. Gem? No, Paige. Paige, okay. Marries. Tasha. Of course. Guess who he pies? He better not have pied in, uh, India or anybody else. De no, Ekinsu? He, he pies Ekinsu saying like, I didn't like the J incident a few weeks ago. Literally, that was a month ago. Like, you're really not going to get over the fact that she kiss some guy that's not even in the villa anymore i've completely decided that tasha and andrew have decided that ekansu and davide are gonna win and they're targeting them Ooh, interesting we have sans here today hi sans hi jessica hi tasha hi sophie hi bye <laughs> um billy is a waste man he thinks he's funnier than he is he's not funny I don't find him funny at all. I don't find him attractive. I think he's garbage. He's garbage. Literal garbage. Uh, hi, Lady Lyrics. Thanks, everybody, for being here while I start to get get angry because this episode got me angry. All right, Davide, who do you think he snogs? Gemma? Paige. Paige, okay. Still, close enough. One of our <laughs> two friends. Yeah. Uh, who does he marry? Ekansu, because they're already married. <laughs> yes, he says, um, I'd like to pie you and marry you at the same time. Oh, yeah, and I can see then that. guess who he pies? Better not be Tasha. He pies Tasha. Oh, wow. <laughs> Poor Tasha. So then Deji, he gets who he, gets who he pies. Or he, can, sorry, snogs. Danica? Actually, I didn't even write down the person's name. Who was it, chat? Who was it? He goes and he swerves yes, India. Like he goes up to people. India and she's like about to kiss and then he just swerves. And I wrote down Deji, but instead of who he might have pied. Who did who did um Deji snog chat? Danica. Okay. Thank you. Oh um God. and then he goes to marry India. And he swerves her a second time. <laughs> but who do you think that he ends up um, uh, marrying? Paige, probably. Yep. And guess who he pies? India. Yes. Yeah. Um, it was. It was funny I, though. I, I I will say Deji's makes sense of all so far. His like his makes sense. His I could see being funny. It was funny. Like and she's just like, oh, you got me. Oh. Yeah twice like you know what okay. i mean like she took it and really well that's a good sport that i'm yeah. sure she was fine with it oh she's totally fine with it yeah um <laughs> so dammy so who does dammy snog we know he snogged um summer 
because we saw it in the preview and also heard him talk about it later. I don't know what he did otherwise. Oh, He's I know he pied Tasha. Correct. So I don't know. And he goes to marry India, and India is like, I like you, but like <laughs> your problem. That that kiss was too long. So he th she throws the ring in the pool. Good for her. <laughs> I love uh, that. I'm sorry. <laughs> and yes, he pies Tasha. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know who said this, but someone was said like, I don't want peace. I want problems. I think it was Deji that said that actually. Oh yeah, I could see it saying that. Uh, Adam, who does Adam snog? He, I know he snogged D Danica because I think I came in at that point. Uh, and who does he marry? He yes, married Paige because she's the only one he could see himself being within the villa. And then he pied uh, Ekansu. Correct. And he then says he Luca. With him and everybody sees it. <laughs> Sorry? Because he said she that Ekansu is flirting with him and everybody can see it. <laughs> But like, I think that he's also trying to cause some problems because mm -hmm. he wasn't he before saying to to Davide like, oh, I think she really likes you. Like, if you like her, you should like let her know. And now he's like, I think he likes Ekansu. Based on what I've seen, I think he likes Ekansu, but he knows she's not going to move to him. We're two yeah. weeks away from the finale. Yeah, she's sticking with. I thought Davide. I thought we had more time. If there was more time, I could see her maybe trying to make the jump. Two weeks before the finale, she's not leaving Davide. No. Um, so Tasha says um, she's disappointed with Deji. The pie alone would be fine for me. I thought that he was just making some TV moments. Like, he knows like he knows his relationship with India. Mm -hmm. uh, and, like, I think that she, he was just trying to, you know. Yeah. He, we've been saying he's so it's quiet. He doesn't do anything. So he did something. His producer said, listen, make this one good. You're probably please. going home soon, but please, can you just make this one good? Show them your personality. And he's like, all right, let's hit it. So Son says, interesting take on Tasha and Andrew. I mean, I, the way that they're doing stuff, because again, we all know they all think that Luca is really the, the game player, mm -hmm. but they keep targeting Ekansu and Davide. And I think it's for a reason. Hmm. To try to take them out of the finals and so they can be in the finals. Yeah. It's I don't think it's happening, Tasha and Andrew. I don't think that you're getting to the finals. I think you're fifth at this point. I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh Daphne gave Paige the longest snog. It was pretty long. And and Ekansu gets out there and she's like, <laughs> like yeah, she kissed Adam, so no, I know, but she was she was playing it up, hamming yeah, it up. You know what I mean? But <laughs> she was definitely Deji was doing the most. <laughs> Dami was petty. Kids were um was far too long and good on India for throwing his ring away in that moment. Kiss. And good on sorry. So Kiss was far too long and good on India for throwing his wig away ring from, away in that moment. Yes. From what I heard like later, it sounded like Summer went in on the kiss. So I think uh, that's why it might have been longer. <laughs> it was really long. It, it wasn't that she went in on it. They just had a like a really long kiss. Yeah, funny. Jessica says, agreed, Adam was fanning the flame. Hearing you reason it out, I can understand what Dead Sheet did now. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that out of everybody, India, I think, is going to be the least offended. And mm -hmm. it becomes like a bit of a joke. Yeah. Like I mean, she, and if he if he wasn't there. If he didn't do all of that, she wouldn't have been pied. You know what I mean? Like, and they, I do think they try to make sure that one, each person gets at least one pie because somebody did something to them or whatever. Except for their golden girl, Paige, doesn't get a pie. She just gets married yeah. and snogged. Yeah, because yeah, she's, they're trying to, I, I, I'm wondering if they're trying to get Adam and Paige to win, but I don't know if they can. I don't want that. Yeah. So after this competition, guess who's upset? Danica. Oh, no. Well, okay, Danica, yes. And then also. 
Oh, Tasha's very upset. I They're both upset, but we can start with Danica. Well, actually, no. Well, first we see Andrew talking to Paige. Paige is really, Andrew's really upset, and he's like, then there's banter, but then there's this. And the guys were taking it a little far. Like, it just was a little bit disrespectful. We said it yesterday and the day before. That's like, we get it. We don't think that their relationship is real, but they've decided to commit to each other. So at this point, you have to say, like, don't complain to me if something goes wrong, and I support you. And they kind of just keep on egging it on when he's already forgiven her and so i thought yeah. it, at this point it was a little bit distasteful how they were acting in snog mary and pie and like mm -hmm. just the comments that they're saying after just wouldn't be something that you'd say to a friend or a friend's girlfriend so i thought they were being pretty rude personally too yeah so they andrew thinks that they are pricks these are his best mates in the villa um tasha joins them ja tasha's kind of upset and she's just like, I can take being pied. I was expecting it, but it's like all the comments, those comments were personal. And I understand why Tasha's upset. Like, you know, it's it's one thing to say like, hey, I don't think that you're into my friend. It's another thing to say that you like, you're walking all over him. You're only taking to them to the end because you want to win. Like, it's just like, it just doesn't feel good. I can, under, I can imagine, especially yeah. if it's true. I still need people to stop voting for Tasha and Andrew. And that's all I have to say about that. Because the end of this episode pissed me off. <laughs> Jessica says it's the same thing over and over again with the guys and Tasha just get over it already. Well, I mean, I don't think, I think Tasha's fine to not get over it. I think the guys should leave it alone a little bit. You know what I mean? Like they know that she, it upsets her. They know that she cries about it. Like, it's not nice to be constantly targeted or like over the, like over the same thing that he, your boyfriend's um, forgiven you for. True. So, I would as just long I, I mean, to 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 be fair, Andrew set the tone. And, that's true. And um, that's half of the reason. Um, but yeah, like they he they needs need to, to go to say to them, like, listen, I just chose the hell her. Over it. Yeah. Leave it alone. Fine. Oh, Natasha. I'm talking about the guys, Natasha. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I agree then for sure. So then we see Zanika, who's pissed, rightfully so, talking with India and Summer. And this is, I was saying this probably about a month ago that I'm like, she keeps on choosing guys that are not into her. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like she's allowing herself to, to not appear to be desirable. She's a stunning woman. She has a beautiful body. She has a fun personality. Like she has, she does tick a lot of actual boxes, but she's choosing men that don't like women of color. And so she- I was gonna say, can I say why? It's cause she keeps choosing white men who don't respect her, who think she's a plaything and they see her dance beautifully. They see her move her yeah, body. Yeah, they want to fuck her. They don't want to marry her. Like exactly. And when a man like Deji, who I, I truly think could be it for her. I think he likes light brights. Sorry, I know that's probably rude. And <laughs> based on his his dating history and white women, I think she's probably closest to his real type than India. Well, and his, his, his other girlfriend though was like, I didn't even think she was as pretty as as uh, Danica is. So no, no, absolutely not. That's why I'm saying to you, I actually think they could actually go somewhere. But she doesn't like black men. And that's her hang up. That's her issue. That's her issue. It's like she she's gotta get over this this white man is thing because it's not working for her. And I feel bad for her because Do, do we really know if her mom or dad is, is which one is black or white? I don't. I because I'm wondering if her dad's today, white. Because if her dad's I was wondering white. that today. Her dad's white? I'm wondering if her dad is white. I'm, I'm, I've been wondering that today too, because I'm like, this is not like, it's like, it's not fine healthy. to, to be open to all different backgrounds. Like I've dated mm -hmm. people from all her mom is white. Okay. So interesting that she doesn't choose is that she, is she have a good relationship with her dad? Um, right. does she, did she grow up with her dad? Did she live with right. her dad? I'm right. just curious as to why she's not finding any black men attractive like it's fine to have date anybody from any background but it's another thing to like choose white men that are actually not into her you know what right. i mean every single time like 
we I remember you were kind of defending her at one point with the Luca thing. I was like, just just don't don't put yourself in a situation to get pied, right? Like you, like just don't choose somebody that is not going to choose you. He's choosing yeah. Gemma no matter what. And like we were just saying, like okay, let's give her a chance. Like she didn't really have that much to go on, but she kept on doing it over and over again. I think that she doesn't realize. I don't think she realizes that they see the black in her and they're not interested. And that's not going to be a tough pill for her to swallow. Well, I don't know about Jay because <laughs> Jay seems to be an issue, but I agree otherwise. I don't remember what happened with her and Jay. <laughs> he, he just said she was too young. Oh, I mean, in that, but maybe it's also because she's black. Like, we don't know for sure. I mean, he was with China. But he yeah. didn't like China. He if he did, if he liked if he liked China, he would have stayed with her past getting into the into the yeah. big villa. So I I still don't. That's what I'm saying. I still don't get. If he liked thing. China, he wouldn't have allowed himself to be dumped. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like he would have like pursued uh, something with her because she was yeah. open to it. So yeah. San says again. I feel the producers' interference here. I reckon they told Paige to go and comfort. Uh, told Paige to go comfort Andrew, I guess, because um, her body language wasn't giving for me. No, I'm sure that that's just Paige. I don't think she cares about anybody but herself and maybe Dan. How she looks, like yeah. how she's being perceived. Yeah. Um, Jessica thinks that it's something deeply rooted within Danica with her continuously picking these men. I believe her dad is black. I've seen her aunt online and she's white. Okay. Um, but I mean, her dad could also have a white sister, but, um, but I feel as though her dad, maybe I, I would like to know then if her mom is white, if her dad was in the picture growing up. Yeah. So yeah. I'm a bit annoyed at Dan Danica. She needs to go where she's celebrated than not tolerated. The white men in the villa are not into people of color. Exactly. Her aunt on her mom's side. Okay. <laughs> Um, agreed. Hi, Naya or Nia. Um, I feel for her. She's not picking men that like her. I get that she wants to have an attraction as well, but maybe push yourself. Clearly your type isn't working for you here. Absolutely. I, it's, it's hard. And I also think her age is just showing that, that level of maturity. She feels like, well, they're showing just a little bit of en energy and I am attracted to that. I could make this work. What she doesn't realize is they're they're not even re really receptive of it. They're what they're, they're giving doing, her the bare minimum, right? Because they want to use her. Like that's what Billy did. He used her for some fun because he thought he could stay in the villa by using her. Didn't realize there was gonna be like we were gonna see that piece before the vote. And yeah, he he planned on just stringing her along because he saw Deji start moving to her, and then he was trying to secure his place in there. Well, that's the thing. So like she's crying and I've, I felt for her when she was crying in this moment because this villa is making her feel like she's not desirable and not, not attractive and not worthy. And she is, but these people are not worthy of her. And so she's like, she's not the, not one person wants to get to know her romantically. And I wrote down dead. She does. Dead. She same thing when she stepped saying that and the, I think later on she said something similar that there's nobody here for her. I said, Deji. And so I want to know, is there some reason, is it, is it that he's black or is there some other reason she's not taking Deji serious? Because if, if he's not serious and we don't know that, but that's what she's feeling, that's fine. But I'm wondering if it's attractive or she just doesn't feel like he's serious. Sam says, I felt bad for Danica when she was crying. I feel like Deji could actually treat her better, but not her type. But this is the thing. Like, if you're on Love Island, you might want to, that would be a perfect time to explore maybe something that's not your type. Right. And so I don't know why she didn't maybe take that opportunity up. Remember when she was like, oh, I have options, I have options? Well, she didn't really see through that other option. You know what I mean? Like, she allowed herself to get pied off by, by Billy and and Deji is probably not going to be interested after that point when you're like, oh, like he the guy that I cho I chose instead of you doesn't want me. So now let me give you a try, Deji. Like, I, I think that she should have been open to more people because like we are asking for people to be open to her. She also has to be open to more people. And so that I think is also an error on casting. <laughs> like she needs everybody needs to be open to everybody in order for this to work and 
that's what I said. I said, I, I have a hard time dating that not my type. Very hard time. <laughs> but you know what? Your but type. I'm not, I'm not applying for dating shows. Where I oh, know absolutely. I would, I would have to be very open to dating not my type. I mean, I did apply for one dating show, but I didn't get off. Um, well, you keep trying. And we're going to get you on one of them. That would be very fun. Very, very fun. Um, so Luca goes to speak to Tasha and he was only upset. Like, he's like, oh, I feel bad that you cried. I was like, I'm just like, I hate you, Luca. At this point, like, I'm just like. I can't stand Luca. He, he I don't think that, he, I think this is where the producers like, go and apologize to Tasha. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. They did. They absolutely did. So apparently some women's group was tagged in a bunch of the, the things mm -hmm. that was happening. And they called up Love Island and had to talk with the producers. And apparently the producer, from, from what this article says, the, the producers made Dami and Luca do something. Well, I mean, it's not a great look for two guys to kind of be just, mm -hmm. uh, just not kind to one small woman you know what i mean like it's just it's not good them both kind of coming at her i don't i'm not gonna say the b word but like it just it's, it's a lot of energy coming towards one woman so i am happy for whatever reason he went to apologize but i don't actually believe he meant it because he did the whole like if i made you feel that way and it's like no you did make her feel that way like if i if i that's really taking yourself out of ownership as to what you actually did you hurt her feelings. You really hit below the belt. You took it too far. It wasn't funny. And she thinks that you guys are friends. Like, stop saying you guys are friends if you're going to keep doing that to her. Exactly. Because you don't do that to Andrew. Exactly. We've seen how Luca, I, maybe Demi, Demi, I can maybe say does that. Because he seems to do that with everybody, right? He does it with India. He does, so Tim, I think he's real. that's his really true self. If being a friend, do you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but Luca, when he's a friend, he's hardcore. He'll ride or die for them. We've seen him with Jax. We've seen him with Andrew. He he's bullshitting her if he says he's a friend. And for him, he's just like, never in my life would I want to make a girl cry. Then why were you acting that way with Gemma yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, she didn't cry because she's pretty tough. But like, he wasn't really acting in a way that was super sweet and nice, in my opinion. So Jessica says exactly. Summer said it perfectly that Billy used her to stay in the villa. Absolutely. Okay. Agree or disagree. Callum says Danica needs to go tomorrow. No, I don't think so either. I don't think and so And I don't either. think they're going to make her go. No, I, well, I, we'll talk about it when we get there, but I do think because at the beginning of this episode, it said, uh, I was like, uh, like Laura Whitmore is back. And it's like, two boys and two girls are going to be dumped from the island. It wasn't risk of being dumped. It was dumped. And then it changed to risk. So I think they had intended yeah, for the bottom people. Either Luca was in the bottom, which I doubt. I actually very, very much doubt No, I that. think it's the bottom that was now, that we have now, that they didn't want to lose uh, Dami. Oh, I was going to say, it was either they were going to have a third couple and it'd be like, too dumped two, two two men that they didn't want to lose so they're willing to to sacrifice one of these men and not two and not, yeah. well, not one like not dammy yeah. or luca and yeah. billy kind of thing yeah yeah yep so. um so sans it's either because he's black or because he was previously interested in india and as in she doesn't want to be uh, first choice well Billy was hit her th bill. She was Billy's third, like choice. ninth choice. No, more yeah. than third, I think, because Billy did did Paige. Billy Paige, did did Tasha. Uh, ta <laughs> uh, Paige, Tasha. Who's the other yeah, person? Is Danica. Wasn't there another person? Tanika. Who left? Another? Oh, Gemma. Oh yeah, he's into Gemma, like causing trouble with Gemma, like so. so fourth. She's fourth. Like, yeah. I would not have been of entertained I don't think that. she cares about that. I would not have been. Well, I mean, maybe, though, because it was her, like, black friend. She didn't want to necessarily go there. I don't know. But, like, he did everything that she's kind of been asking people to do. You know what I mean? Like, come up, show up, say that you want, are interested in me, say that you are wanted to see things with me. And he did that. And she went with the toxicity. I mean, you go with what you're used to, right? What? And sometimes attraction is your attraction to the toxicity. Sometimes. 
I wonder so, what kind of boyfriend she had previously. Too. Well, he's probably a shit like Billy mm-hmm. or Jax, like all these assholes. Yeah. Like a bad boy. F off. Yeah. Um, I mean, she doesn't want to be second choice. I'm tired. It's nearly midnight here. I know, Sons. I know. I understood what she meant, though. She wants to be first choice, doesn't want to be second. Um, I don't think the apologies are sincere because they keep doing it repeatedly. Exactly. It's just tiresome. I would love to get them to get rid of Dami and Luca. Charnese. I want Dami to stay. And what is India supposed to do without Dami? And what? And why do you think Luca's ever going to go? Luca's not going anywhere. Because they are not going to ever. I, I, there, there's a reason why I'm pissed. And I will talk about it when we get to the, to the clubhouse. <laughs> so we see Adam talking to Paige um, and Ekansu. And he tells them that Danica and Billy did bits. And he, Adam thinks that it was pretty tacky and distasteful to not kiss, not marry, or pie Danica. Like, he didn't do any of them to show that there's some sort of interest there. Um, and then Billy kind of walks up and he's like, you royally fucked it. And Billy's, like, acting like he didn't. Like, he's like, what do you mean, huh? Like, surprise. Like, what? Yeah. So Billy goes and talks to Danica and he kind of explains that he was trying to be funny. And it's so funny when like he clearly has the ick or like he doesn't want to even give off any sort of inkling that he likes her. But like he gets this like very, very unappealing attitude about him. It's very, he's, he's very, remember when, like, no one like Jax gets that face and, and Paige was like, oh, that was that face, that face you have. Like he gets that face. And I'm like, I can't stand you. Right. So Ekansu tells the group about the fact that they, that didn't, that they were told by Adam that they did stuff. And so we see uh, Billy being like, oh, I'm sorry for doing that. Um, and then he hasn't had that click. Why, okay, why are you fooling around with a girl that you didn't have that click with? It's so disrespectful. It's ridiculous. Like, on national TV, that's so disrespectful. So rude. Oh, my gosh. And then to tell everybody. Mm -hmm. He's disgusting. So, Dami does go and apologize to Tasha as well. And his apology, I thought, was better. Um... You know, at least, like, his charm came through and it didn't seem as contrived as Luca's was. And he does say, like, I do have your back and, like, I I don't have any more jokes. No more jokes. And, like, you know, he was able to, in my opinion, smooth things over better than Luca did. Yeah. Somebody said that on one of the podcasts I was listening to that the thing with Danny is he is very protective of the girls in general. He, He does, like... He, he, when he, even when he jokes, he is there for the girls, like when they're crying. Because remember, he, 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 Luca did not go when Tasha was crying the last time. He went to her. and But he will also say it to their face, but he'll comfort them. And I think that's the difference. Between, not to say that Dami's not shit. He absolutely is. But that's the difference between him and Luca. Like saying that I'm a friend. Mm-hmm. Like I believe that Dami really does believe he's a friend to both mm-hmm. of them where I don't believe that for Luca. Mm-mm. Okay, Sans, this is another good point. Sans thinks that all the blacks were in the bottom, including Deji. I don't think India was, but um, India Summer... Might have and... been. She might oh, have like been. the bottom three? Oh. I think it might have been the same issue that happened with Kaz and Tyler last season. Oh my God, Deji, India. Oh my God, that would look terrible. Mm-hmm. So they probably cut out a bottom, another couple, which would be Deji and India, mm-hmm. which became safe. And like they just took it as that, those four. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. I told, um, you, I told you yesterday, I mean, although Twitter is not real life, but people are, were mad at her because of Demi. Nothing that she did other than taking Demi back. So Charnese thinks that Deji was kind of late at the party for Danica. Fine, but Danica, with her track record, should have been open to Deji. You know what I mean? Like, she shouldn't have necessarily closed that door completely. But Billy was sticking it on her. And, like, she wore his her, his type, her type. And she allowed herself to explore that so she can get pied. Well, she not in the game, though. at least entertained it. 
nothing that Billy was doing was something that should have allowed her to close things off. She had options. She said that. She's like, I have options. But yeah, then but he she didn't saw that she had that. options and tried to close the door on it. By and, by fooling around with her. Yeah. And so just and like. And you saw Deji was like, mm, well, I'm still here for you. So do what I, I know. Y'all did something. I don't care. She didn't know that they know, knew though. Hmm. So Shani says, in a perfect world, I, I know it would never happen, but Dami and Luca pissed me off beyond words. I understand that. I understand that. So Jewel thinks Dami is just as fake. I, I just think he's more sincere than Luca. Maybe he's... Uh, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I didn't... I wasn't as pissed off at Dami as I was with Luca when he was apologizing. Dam, Dami's an idiot. Um, But I don't... <laughs> I, I don't think he's Luca as bad as Luca. I'm sorry. I don't think he's as bad as Luca. I don't think he's as bad as Jax. You guys can disagree with me, but I'm sorry. I do not think that Dami is as bad as both of them, but he's going to get more shit because he's black. It's true. I agree. So they're getting ready for the night. Um, we see Danica saying it's a dick move, all the stuff about Billy and finding out that Billy told all the guys what they had done. But oh, Billy, Summer, I love Summer, India, and Tanika. I, I, can I just express this? And that is another reason why I'm mad for later. But she was riding so hard for her. Uh, she was so mad on her behalf. <laughs> and I felt it. You could feel it. Like, uh. So Billy now is going to go break it off. I'm just like, shut up, Billy. Yeah. Like, you're just a piece of garbage. He already heard from her that she, like, oh, yeah, I get I get what you're saying. I could have just pied you if I was really going to make it, like, a fun, gaggy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which says to us that you didn't even think about the girl. No, you want to do whatever is going to, like, get you more airtime. Yeah. This makes me sick. He makes me actually sick. Um, Tasha, um, doesn't like, it says Dabby's behavior is disgusting, but I don't think he's fake. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm kind of done with like what he did in the past. I think what he's done up until the, like these last couple episodes, I don't think he was t treating Tasha the nicest, Kindly. but like, I do think that it's way better than what was going on in Casa Amor. So I'm not disgusted by his behavior right now. I just don't think he's being nice. So hopefully... Hopefully, now that he's apologized, he'll just stop, like, bothering Tasha. Mm -hmm. So the producers are trying to do major damage control behind the scenes, influencing Islanders to apologize and force conversations that feel very staged since the boys are getting so much heat online. Nia. Hmm. But they this, should, though. That, hmm. This is my whole thing. I don't mind that because what they're doing is crossing a line. And unless their behavior is corrected as as um Sophie or Sans had said like they won't know to change yeah if they don't know what they're doing wrong mm -hmm. they think they're well Demi thinks he's joking and I don't know what Luca thinks mm -hmm. Demi thinks he's joking and he needs to stop um, I did think it was cute though when Davide was flat ironing heck at Sue's hair and he's just like he's like that would be 50 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was cute, I thought so. Um so we see Davide, Dami, and Luca all apologizing to Andrew and and he's like, oh, I love you boys, like that's why it hurts. I'm just like, uh, whatever. Billy and Danica talk, and Danica's like, I feel like there's a lack of respect. And He's like, oh, I thought you told people. That's why, like, people were saying things. And it's like, that's BS. I hate you, <laughs> Billy. You're, I really don't like you at all. So we hear, like, I, I don't know who was saying this, but she's like said that this was the fifth time she was given a no, and but she felt that he was punching up, anyways. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I man, everything she said after this, I was like. Facts. Just all, everything she said about him. Absolute straight facts. No printer. Uh-oh. Hold on. Jewel thinks that, it, I guess, Dami and India are out at the next vote. Just watch. I don't think they could let that happen. I do, at this point. I I will say there are people who still think that they could win if they turn it around and just focus on each other. Um. So I listened to the Morning After podcast. Jay and China were on it. And um, one of the presenters was just like, 
what do you guys think about India and Demi? And they're like, no, they could still win it if they because they felt like they were winning. They stood up in Takasa or more, they were winning. And it's primarily a white panel. And I think the same thing with the After Sun panel. So it you know, even China said, Yeah, you know, the summer thing is over. They just need to just focus like the snog made pie thing, fun, whatever. They just need to focus on each other. Mm-hmm. And I think that they could really like what he did tonight, like with the ring and just like focus on each other. No more jokes. We we haven't seen a hideaway in weeks. Focus on each other. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be fine. Now, people probably will not forgive him or her, but my whole thing is if Luca is still there, Andrew is still there. Absolutely no reason for Dammy to go home. Mm-hmm. I agree. So Jessica says, I'm glad Deji called Billy out. Billy said Danica Danica ticked all of his boxes. So please tell me how all these effing boxes get unticked. I can't stand Billy. I can't stand <laughs> Billy good. either, Jessica. I can't stand even, Billy. Even Deji said it to him. You said you tick, she ticked all your boxes. And he's his friend. <laughs> So, because persons should vote for them, would rather vote for another couple that lack chemistry or are much much worse. Don't don't scare me though. Like it's just too annoying. Well, I mean, Twitter obviously Twitter is not real life because if it was up to Twitter, the two men who would have been in the bottom is Deji, Deji, Demi, and Luca. That's not what happened. That should tell you that Twitter is not real life. So San says, I don't think there was any more public votes in the last week. So Islanders will vote out the the next couple. True. Um, but I, I, the, to win, though, would be the, the final four. That would be mm-hmm. the public vote as well. Um, so, yeah. So the Twitter trends are telling you uh, Jewel differently. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Twitter's not. <laughs> Twitter's not. Look at Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Um, so Tasha thinks the Islanders would vote on compatibility. Yeah, I think that Dami and India will be fine with the Islanders um, voting out couples. Oh, yeah, that's true. After this, there was no more public vote. Or dumping. It was, mm-hmm. it was the Islanders voting on compatibility. So I could see them voting on compatibility and dumping uh, two couples. Oh, my God. Would they dump? Do you think they would do Tasha and Andrew? They have to. If they're going to vote on compatibility... Those are the, they, like, they would be the least compatible. I do not see them saying that India and Dami are not compatible. They can't vote out the only black couple. They're just, it's like, I they mean, well, do it's that. Deji and, and, um, yeah. And either. Deji and who? De- Deji's not going to be with anybody. Danica. <laughs> oh, and maybe they're going to try to help them be together, but they're going to be dumped yeah. anyways. But they yeah, give yeah. them a shot at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if Summer leaves, I can see the energy change around Dami and India because she won't be there as a constant reminder for the public. That's true. That's true. Um, I do feel bad for India because I think her her two, like she was literally holding Summer's hand when they were waiting. Like, mm-hmm. it, because I think they have grown close. But I do agree. It's kind of like the J thing. Without that air around it, maybe they can move on. So Fiat 500 are not sending Luca anywhere, to be honest. Yes, I That's what I'm trying to say to you. But Fiat 500 is not on Twitter. That's what I'm trying to say to you. If mm-hmm. it was up to Twitter, the two people who would have been in the bottom, bottom is Dami and Luca. Is Dami mm-hmm. and Luca. But I said that the black people on Twitter are willing to go ahead and cut Dami loose. And Fiat 500 is never going to cut Luca loose. So that's the difference between us and them. Mm-hmm. Well, not us, because I would tell you, I would, I my vote would have went to Dami in India. That would have been my. So vote. CJ doesn't see Damia Damia winning. Hope that she hopes that they're she's wrong. Um, Dami messed it up for India. I mean, I true. I listen. I just want them to be in the final and not be in the final for, how do you say it? Like, just because a couple dropped out, because that's what happened with Kaz and Tyler. They would not have been in the final. Jake and Liberty would have been in the final, even though mm-hmm. everybody saw that they weren't a good couple. Shani says Billy has been an a-hole from the beginning. He's just been cracking jokes and smiling, so people think he's funny. You know, right, he that's has why Demma doesn't take him seriously, which is why Luca's stupid. 
Sam says Tasha and Andrew or Adam and Paige could go. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with both of those. That's I'm, fine. I'm good with those. Actually, I'd rather Adam and Paige stay over Luca and Gemma, but I don't think Gemma's going anywhere. CJ, if Davi, um, sorry, uh, if Davi messed up, so did Davi Day, but everyone can still see him and Ek and Sue winning. Why do we judge Dami differently? He's black. Exactly. So we and see Ek and Sue. Yeah. He doesn't have an accent. So we see Ek and Sue complaining to Davi Day about Danica's voice. And I was like, where did this come from? Like, wh and why do they need to leave that in that she's like complaining about Danica's voice so loud? I just thought that was weird. Um, yeah, Ian made a joke. Ian makes a lot of jokes on, on Danica's behalf that I don't like. And this is part of the reason why I'm not really a fan of him. He makes a lot of jokes on her. And I feel like they kept it in so that he could make that joke. Because mm -hmm. otherwise it made no sense. I see. Or but or like maybe he made the joke because she said it. Right. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like they kept it in so he could make oh, the joke. Oh, say the joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Nia says, as much as we are rooting for a black couple to win in the UK, unfortunately, it's almost as if our favorite black couple can't even have any hiccups to be winner. It's not fair that we're not given as much grace. Oh, my God. Well, <laughs> I mean, but it's I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the truth. Even from looking at y'all posts. If Demi had gone through Castle of Moore and been the perfect gentleman, they would have said, especially the, the information. They that didn't have any tests. <laughs> yeah, they um, they were boring. They, they, based on the information that just came out too, they would have said he he is only staying with her to win. He doesn't really like her. Mm -hmm. Because that's what they said about Caleb and Justine. And then today, Coco apparently came um out and said that she was telling everybody how much their twitter twitter and instagram followers have grown and who was doing well and who wasn't doing well now this is my thing if she went in and told that them that and demi still did everything that he did with summer he's an idiot <laughs> but it also kind of goes back to what i said is i think he really thought that they needed this test because I'm pretty sure his producer probably said, oh, no, they're saying you're boring a little bit. You guys don't, don't you haven't, up, you know, gotten over everything. And then he went overboard. He went overboard. That's it. Like, he could have this test, but he he just went overboard. Dammy, dammy, dummy. Yeah. Dammy, dummy. So Billy is not going to waste his time if he doesn't have a connection. He only had a sexual connection with her. And he can't believe that it's coming across that he's a dick. Like, what? And then Adam, I think it was Adam. He's like, well, you are kind of a dick. <laughs> I'm, I'm no, happy with Deji. Adam. It was, it was Deji. Deji. Oh, yeah, well, it was Deji. Adam has also been calling him out. And so I'm happy that Deji is too, because like, yeah. he is kind of a dick. That's when he said, well, you are kind of a dick. You told her you she, she ticked all your boxes when you're basically now saying she only ticked the one. So India and Dami are chatting and she's like, what's up, sweetness? Um, and she's like, you really went in with that kiss though. Um, and then they start kind of talking about like after the villa and he wants her to come visit her in, um, him in, in Ireland. And then she's like, he's like, but I want to kind of move to London. And she thinks that he would suit London. And so I thought this was a good Solid conversation. conversation. Solid and conversation. then he got on his knee and she's getting all shy and embarrassed. But apparently I can't. Do you think he really fished out the ring? From the pool. Because that's what he said. Have. Somebody might have, and maybe just gave it to him. Mm -hmm. Um, so he fishes out the ring and he gets on his knee to give it to her. And she's like, it's like a promise ring. And it, I actually cried a little bit. I got a little bit teary-eyed because it was she's a solid like, scene, guy. It he was, was solid like, scene. Well, are you gonna take it or what? And I was like, Oh, because what because his thing is no exclusivity, he just it's boyfriend or girlfriend. Or on, you know, that's it. And she said, basically, she doesn't want to be boyfriend or girlfriend. Kind of what Gemma's doing. She doesn't want to do that until she talks to her mom and dad. Oh, and then in his ITM, he's like, she's my girl. I was like, that whole moment was very sweet. Yeah. Um, and he called her babe. Mm -hmm. And you're my baby. I hate him. <laughs> I, I cried a bit, though. Yeah. It got me. 
It yeah. got me. Damn him. Y'all could have uh, won. <laughs> uh, what am I talking about? Billy. Oh, wait, so they're all getting ready for bed or whatever. And Billy's, they're asking, like, Billy, where are you sleeping? And he's like, in this bed. Like, he's just such he's a dick. He's butt in the damn doghouse. He's How dare he? gross. He's so disgusting. Um, so D Davide in bed, though, does say to Akinsu again, like, I wish that I could marry you and pie you at the same time. Um, that was, I think it's kind of cute at this point. Like, I don't know how they got me back, but uh, I'm back on the... Davide and Ekansu train at this moment. Yeah, no, no, no. That was also a case. But I mean, really, to me, they, to me, those two couples are the only two couples that feel real. Am yeah. I the? Am I the? Like, I don't see any other couple that feels real. Oh, CJ rolled eyes at Dam Damia in the ring scene. He has made it hard to believe him. Honestly, I I was believing how she felt. So I felt that she really appreciated what he was doing. I felt that she was kind of shy and turning away and kind of like, I was feeling, I was living through her experience of that scene. Yeah. I wasn't judging I mean, him he on really whether didn't I have to do it. Like what she said is he said he doesn't believe in exclusivity. It's either boyfriend or girlfriend or nothing. And, but he felt like he wanted her to know how much he appreciates her and he wants more. Are they gonna last outside the villa? I don't think so. But for right now, I think they're a good couple, solid couple in the villa. So Sans is on our side here. Um, the scene was lovely, gave me all the feels and giggles. You can't be mad at him for too long, even if you want to. They have given me all the romantic scenes this year. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. They have. Yeah, they have. They did. And so um in the morning, Ek and Sue made coffee, and the gr girls are, are annoyed because they were waiting for her. Uh, they're asking her how does married life feel and the guys are not supportive of billy at all which i'm happy about like they differently didn't really let him off the hook which is um, why i know his ass is going home because he really i don't think he has any support after what he did to danica mm -hmm. and of course danica is annoyed here uh would be too like with the whole situation like billy's just garbage mm -hmm. um and then i've got a text where they're going to the vibe club for a vip party leaving the villa i forgot that this is a new uh trope of the show mm -hmm. um and so they're out with the boys they're going to be dancing they're going to hear real music when did that start did i feel that like last start season, season might have been maybe last six? season or the season before were the first seasons that they started I, I know they did it season six so i think season six was the first time i don't remember that Antoine, in season five right? Anton. No, 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 no. They did it season five because remember that's when um, Michael and crap his girlfriend uh, Joanna uh, Joanna broke up at the beach club. Um, maybe they have had it in all seasons, but I don't remember it being in all seasons. I could be wrong though. I don't remember a hundred percent. But um, it is. It just seems to be like a new thing. Mm -hmm. But maybe it was new of season five. I don't remember it in season four, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, so Joel Corey is the DJ. I don't know him, unfortunately. I thought it was DJ Curry. Corey. Oh. C-O-R-R-Y, I think it was. I thought it was Curry. Well, maybe I spelled it wrong, but I thought it was Corey. <laughs> um, and so Ekansu and Gemma and India are all giving Danica advice. Um, and Ekansu is just annoyed. Like, he just gets away with it. He gets away with everything. And, like, I'm just, I'm annoyed with him getting away with everything because he makes it a joke. Like, he's such, he's the worst type of guy. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. in the sense that, like, he just, he's never serious. He treats people like shit and thinks it's funny. And it's, like, it's actually not. Yeah. I agree. And so while they're talking about Billy, Billy can hear and he's sitting with Deji. And um, and I wrote down, at this point, I cannot stand him. <laughs> Just can't stand him. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's Corey. And so Danica goes over and interrupts Deji and Billy. And, uh, uh, like, Billy's like, oh, I'm baffled. Like, what are you baffled about? Like, get a clue, buddy. Like, you're garbage. And you treated this woman really terribly. And it's not funny. There's no part of it that's funny. What you First did. of all, how are you baffled when you could hear her? Cursing you out, saying that. And then with the microaggressions, like telling her to chill. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck yeah. you for telling her to chill I about you disrespecting her. Do not tell a woman how to react. Express herself to you. 
when you've treated her like garbage. Right. Like well, I'm not said, gonna I'm not gonna sit here husband. while you're talking to me like that. Excuse right. me. She like she said, you're not her husband, you're not her boyfriend, you're not her her dad. There's no reason why she should give you any of res the respect. He's disgusting. Um, and then after when she finally leaves, he's like, Oh my god, mate, this girl is drama. Like, you're garbage, Billy. She's actually wasn't even being dramatic. She was actually just saying her point of view from what you did and how you made her feel. And you, and she was getting heated because you weren't taking her seriously. And then you were kind of giving her microaggressions with like not allowing her to fully express herself without saying that she needs to chill and that she's not allowed to swear. Like, why is she not allowed to swear? Like, if we take it, take it back to when, when, when last season, when Faye went off, would she have, he have told Faye to chill? Faye to not swear? No, because she's black. She wasn't even being that irate, I don't think. I don't think she was being that out of line. I don't think she's being that loud. I think you could swear whenever, the, whenever you want to swear. Like, I was just like, I wish that violence was allowed sometimes because he needs to get punched. He does. <laughs> he needs to. He needs to. He has, he doesn't know how to, he doesn't learn. He's not a good guy. He needs to get in trouble. Um, I'm a pacifist normally, but sometimes people just need to get a little punch in the face. Um, so Ek and Sue and talk Italian with um, Davide by the pool, saying Ti amo, and they were being a little bit cute again. Uh, we see Paige and Adam, who I don't care about because I think Adam is fake as F. Um, and Adam's like, you know, I think that things are going really well. And, you know, and she's like, yeah, you're ticking a few boxes. And I'm just like, Paige, he's just not that into you. She's, I feel like she's kind of pulling a Danica here. But mm -hmm. she's white, so she's not going to get, it's not going to be exactly the same. But yeah. I don't think that this is a lasting relationship. I know she's like, oh, your marriage material. Your marriage material, yes, it could be like get someone like Paige in her feels. But I don't know if that's what Adam usually wants to say. So we see more nighttime dancing. And then Laura shows up and they wants all the Islanders to line up by the pool. She said, um, vulnerable, and I thought I said at the beginning was dumped. And so she's letting us know the bottom to men and to women. Mm -hmm. So the women are Danica and Summer. Zero surprise there. Yeah. And Billy and Dammy. I was surprised here, but we did learn that Deji has a lot of friends that were probably voting for him to support him. Um, so that could also be one of the reasons why Dammy wasn't in the Demi, Deji wasn't in the bottom. But um, I was slightly surprised by Dammy because he's still in a relationship with someone in the villa. You know what I mean? Like, he still has a connection that he's trying to work through. So the fact that they are not even allowing him to continue to explore that is, like, such an eye roll. I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was a little surprised that uh, Danica was in the bottom. I actually thought it would be India. Um, but... I am glad it's not India. That being said, I am mad because people were so busy throwing BS votes to Tasha and Andrew that they did not cover Danica. And I, I don't appreciate it. Well, if it wasn't Danica, who did you want to be? You think that Tasha should have been in the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think, like... To be like, I understand where you're coming from. I I would prefer Danica to be in the villa as well and giving another opportunity. But Tasha and Andrew have been working towards building a relationship, and we not may not like the relationship, but part of the reason for the show is to find somebody. And so the fact that Danica is having such a hard time, I can understand also why they might not be supporting the single journey, considering she doesn't have any options. So then why vote for Deji? This is the part that I do not understand. I think it's his friends that wanted him to stay in the villa. That's what I think. Yes, Shirley's the misogyny is pretty, pretty high this season. I'm ecstatic that Danica woke up and put Billy in his place. She did it flawlessly. Him telling her to stop cursing. Boy, bye. She processed her emotions and remembered who she is. Yeah, like, shut up, Billy. Billy is childish. I can't do it. <laughs> He's childish. <laughs> Billy is an example of why you don't lower your standards. I don't think that Danica would look twice outside the villa. The audacity of that boy agreed. The audacity. 
so yeah, I don't know why I can't get into Paige and Adam, but I but more than likely they will be in the finals. Oh yeah, because oh, they're God. terrible. But yeah, um, Debbie was at the bottom because Black Twitter was telling everyone to vote him out and vote for Andrew to teach him a lesson. Okay, maybe you should teach him a lesson, but and he'll stay, and, and maybe Luca. he'll smarten up. Hmm. And Luca. Yeah, Luca needs to be taught a lesson too. It's true. But he's not. So. Why is Taylor getting so much hate and microaggressions on Big Brother? Oh my God, just caught up. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's old news. Uh, I mean, it's white white folks for you. young white people for you. <laughs> um, well, Paloma is mixed race, and she kind of started the hate train on Taylor. And it's easy to jump on and bash the black person. You know, if you can find a reason to hate on a black person, you'll just go with it and not even realize that you are. Ex expressing microaggressions like you just find a reason not to like someone you think it's a valid reason but it's actually because they're black you know what i mean so that's kind of what's going on with taylor she has no idea which is unfortunate um there are persons who voted for deji because they just don't like dammy so that's then they true. want india not to be in the end that's the thing that i tried to understand Dami's staying. I think that the producers realize that Dami and India need to be in that final at this point because they the fact that like 12 black people have been dumped from the island is is unheard of. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that Tasha said anything recently to Andrew. All was forgiven once both sides uh, on both sides once they became boyfriend and girlfriend. So I don't understand why people still drag her. I could see them say that De Danica had had her chance and that they want to give Summer a chance, but I think that they're closer to Dan Danica. I'd rather see Danica, but I like the trio. Me too. I like the trio, but at this point, it's too close to the final, like the end. Um, so, yeah, it's. I think that Summer has to go. I, I do agree with whomever said that if Summer go, if Summer goes, and maybe it would allow people to forget about what happened with Deji, sorry, with Dami and Summer, and like they can maybe move on. And so, I'm hoping that that's what happens. I'm hoping that they're able to be seen in a brighter light. Um, it's it is tiresome to to know that he's just being treated so poorly, and people wanting to teach him a lesson, but they're not giving the same energy to everybody in the villa. It's Thank that you. sucks. That sucks. But yes, CJ, we do have Love Island USA tonight. So we will be going live. This will be a late night live. And then after the next weeks, it'll probably be a little bit less late night, but it'll always be later night on um, Tuesdays. So we should be going live probably about midnight, um, talking about the first episode. And Tamika is going to be doing a watch party, I believe, on Twitch. Is that still a thing? Yep, I will be at 9 p.m. I will be uh, streaming live on my Twitch tonight, Love Island USA Watch Party. Yes, so twitch.tv so slash entertainment in color, I believe is what the handle is. Yes. Um, if you go to either my Instagram uh, bio link or in my stories, um, I have my link tree in there and there's a little Twitch icon at the top. Click it and it'll take you right to my Twitch or search entertainment in color. Know you <laughs> for uh, my Twitch channel. Perfect. So yes, join Tamika later on this evening and then I'll be playing catch up. I might even watch her stream to catch up because like uh, it might be difficult for me to find one without commercials. Um, yeah. And so yeah, we'll be going live a little bit later. And if you are talk are watching Big Brother, I will be going live in about half an hour with um, Taryn and Melissa from Rob is a Podcast talking about these players of this uh, this new season of Big Brother 24. We're going to be ranking them for the stock watch. So join us at 8 p.m. Eastern um, so we can see what is going down. So lastly, Tasha's still not into Andrew, just wants to stay in the villa. I mean, yeah, but at this point, like, they actually are still in a couple. You know what I mean? Like, we might not like the couple, but they're in a couple and they're committed to each other right now. Sanj so thinks that we've seen the most um, black people come to the villa in the same vein. They're the first to leave, just yep. so, no support. Absolutely. Yep. And Danica may leave voluntarily. She's been through a lot. We will continue to support her no matter what. She might. Okay. But I think she should stay and maybe I, just, I like, entertain she... Deji. Just, like, yeah. she doesn't need to date him. She doesn't need to kiss him. She doesn't need to make out with him. But maybe just getting comfortable with being, uh, hanging courted. out with a black person. <laughs> right? And yes. And courted. And courted. Properly just courted. allow that to happen. 
Um, because like she might not maybe she's never dated anybody that looked like Deji before, but maybe she would like it. So so maybe hopefully she just gives them a chance, whether whether or not anything happens with them, like just to have that experience. So we will see what happens there. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel as well as Entertainment in Color. Like this video and let us know who you think the Islanders are going to save. Will they save Summer or Danica? Do you actually think that Danica will walk and then Summer will stay? Or do you think that Dammy, they will punish Dammy and send him home and keep Billy? I mean, I don't think that's a possibility. But tell us what you think about this current dumping and let us know in the comments. Any final thoughts, Tamika? No, I'm excited for Love Island USA. If you have not watched our cast assessment before the episode starts, go watch that now. And let's go for a season four premiere. Yes, so we will see you later on tonight. Thank you, everybody in the chat for being here. You guys are the best. We'll see you later on tonight. And tomorrow, we'll also be seeing you too. I think we're on tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> see ya.